With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, we have to find the locus of all the points Z, satisfying the condition argument of Z minus 1 divided by Z plus 1 is equal to pi by 3. And we need to identify that which of the following options is correct. So first of all, let us assume Z is equal to X plus iota Y this time. Now, taking the, uh, now first of all, trying to find out what is the value of Z minus 1 upon Z plus 1. So Z minus 1 is X plus iota Y minus 1 divided by X plus iota Y plus 1. So this will get, the real part will be added X minus 1 plus iota y divided by x plus 1 plus iota y. Now to, to further solve this, we will multiply and divide this part with the x plus 1 minus iota y. We will rationalize this basically. So uh, multiply the terms in the numerator, we will get x minus 1 into x plus 1. Uh, minus iota y into x minus 1 plus iota y into x plus 1 minus iota square y square divided by in the denominator it is of the form a plus b into a minus b that is a square minus b square. So a square is this x plus 1 whole square minus b is iota y iota y whole square. Now we can write this uh, this iota square is minus 1. So we can write this the above in the numerator we will get this we will get x square minus 1 a plus b into a minus b is x square minus 1 plus this y square this is the real part plus imaginary part iota here we will get y into x plus 1 minus y into x minus 1 divided by this is iota square again it, it gets positive. So x plus 1 whole square plus y square. So finally z minus 1 upon z plus 1 is equal to x square plus y square minus 1 this term divided by this whole de denominator. This is the real part and the imaginary part is iota times this xy get cancelled and we will get 2y. 2y divided by this numerator x plus 1 whole square plus y square. This is z minus 1 upon z plus 1. Now in the question it was given that argument of z minus 1 upon z plus 1 is equal to pi by 3. So argument of z minus 1 upon z plus 1 is given as pi by 3. Now what would be the argument of z minus 1 upon z plus 1? It would be tan inverse imaginary of imaginary part of z minus 1 upon z plus 1 divided by real part of z minus 1 upon z plus 1. This is equal to pi by 3. Now what we will do is uh, the value we will get tan inverse. Imaginary part of z minus 1 upon z plus 1 is 2y divided by x plus 1 whole square plus y square. This completely divided by real part of z minus 1 upon z plus 1 which is x square plus y square minus 1 divided by x plus 1 whole square plus y square. This is equal to pi by 3. This get cancelled. Uh, tan inverse, we will get tan inverse 2y upon me x square plus y square minus 1 is equal to pi by 3. Taking this tan in the RHS, we will get 2y upon x square plus y square minus 1 equals to tan pi by 3 tan pi by 3 is tan 60, tan 60 is root 3. Now on cross multiplication, we will get uh, x square plus y square minus 1 is equal to 2y by root 3. So making this in the perfect square situation, we will get x square plus y minus 1 by root 3 whole square is equal to 2 by root 3 square. This is the locus of z. We know this is the equation of a circle. So the locus of z is a circle. Hence, the correct option is option B.
the locus of z is a circle for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today